Hello everybody, I'm Daniel and this webcast is going to show you how to create a resource sheet with shareable links. You are at a CIR and you want to give your team a document that's emailed to them where they can click on links quickly to get to all of the resources that they need. So I'm going to show you how to do that. These are instructions that are written that you can follow if you don't like the video or you want to follow it with the video. I'll be following these instructions as I go through this. So the f one thing you'll need is the agenda. Okay? The agenda can be found. I'm, so I'll go to the beginning, right? Uh, I'm going to be going to Georgetown, South Carolina. Jerry has shared with me these different folders. Each folder has subfolders with the guide, resources for before the visit, during the visit, post visit, and the surveys. Outside of those are the resource document and the observation guide. I used to call this an agenda but the agenda is made by the team. If they want to take this document, if you want to email it to them and have them put times on there and make it the agenda, but they need to tell you the times for the day. So we're going to call this the resource sheet, not the agenda, even though it says it there, but that'll change. So I have to open up this folder, then open up this. So now I have the agenda up. So the first thing and the most important is the observation form. The team needs to be able to click right here and have the observation form come up. So in here you're going to open up the copy of the observation form. Okay. Um, now this one is incorrect but don't worry about it. This is a what sort of an empty version but that's okay. Yours will be fully operational. You're going to click send and then you're gonna find this little link. This is the link to where they open up the form and click copy. So it's important that you don't just send the link to this because this is your form builder. This is how you edit them. This send link copy, this link is to the actual form. I go back to my agenda, highlight it, insert, I click right here, that inserts the link, insert link, control V, apply. Always test your link, click on it. And now you see this is the form that they type it into. Obviously it'll be, it'll look normal when you've made the form. When the form has been made for you, you won't have to make it. Next, I want to give them access to everything in the folder, right? I want to be able to say, go to the folder and click on this. So I'm going to go to the Georgetown folder, click Georgetown High School, little drop down menu at the high school and I'm going to click get shareable link copy that I'm going to control C I'm going to highlight the word this right here now before I did insert link just so you know I can right click on it and click link and it does the exact same thing control V now notice what I did is I highlighted it. If I don't highlight it and I just do control V, I'll get a bunch of gibberish link stuff. We're going to keep it nice and clean by doing highlight. Now I made a mistake. Why did I do that? I highlighted the uh, wrong thing, which is good. I can show you how to fix it. You click in front of it and you click remove. What I wanted to link to was the folder. Link to CIR folder. So now when they click here, it'll take them right to the folder, but only if you've shared, you've added them to the folder. 
which I've shown you how to do in another video. So the other, th all of the things you need to link here are on this. These are the must-haves. See? See, collaborative folder, observation form, word version, observation form to enter data. So all of those things I've already typed on here. If you want to add something else, you can type it. So you could say on here that you want to add um, down here. Um, maybe you create a reflection sheet just on the whim, and you want to add that. You can do the same. You can upload it to the drive and put it there. So the remaining things I'm going to do is the observation form, the Word document version. I'm going to right click, get shareable link. You don't need to open it. You can just click right link, get shareable link. Sorry. Highlight. Insert link. Paste. Apply. Interview docs. So we ha this is why we do Google is so we can all type in at the same time. I go to during visit. I find the interview. Here's I'm doing a high school. So this is the high school version. I'm going to get the shareable link. I'm going to control C. I'm going to hi highlight it. Insert link. Control V. Apply. Now that's not something, but I, if I add it, it would be the same process. Data synthesis forms. I'm going to go to post visit. Nope, that's still during the visit. Copy of evidence. I'm going to get shareable link. Insert link, control V, apply. And now the the at the end of the day, we create a PowerPoint that has the key findings of the team. So the template for that is in after the visit, post visit. And that's right here. Control V. I mean, I'm sorry, get shareable link. Control C. Link it. Apply. So here's what's going to happen. At some point, someone's going to open up this interviews doc. And they're going to say, I'm typing, but nothing's happening. I'm typing, but nothing's happening. What you're going to do is say, oh, well, I, you must not have the permissions. So you open up your version. You click share. And you make sure you have their Gmail. You type in their Gmail. And then you select can edit. If they look at it but can't type anything, it's because you haven't added them to it. So you type in their Gmail and do that. And that's how you fix it. If that doesn't work, have them click File, Download As, Word, and then type it on their computer and send it to you. Less efficient, but gets the job done. And that is how you create a CIR resource sheet.